how did you like my baseline? Um, I made a baseline by starting on the red note. And when I paused it, I ended um, pausing on the red note too to make sure I stopped on the red note. The red note's the most important note of the scale. And then I use other notes in the scale. But notice how I use the same rhythm for my entire note. Okay, I didn't go up and down to make a melody. I stayed on the same color the whole time. Let's show you how to do it. I'm gonna erase everything. Goodbye. Well, I'm gonna keep the beats there. You don't have to do the beats if you don't want to. So what color do we start on? Scream it to me. Good job, red. What rhythm did I choose in the last part? I did apple, pie, face, mask. You can choose whatever rhythms you like. Because apple, pie sounds close together, I'm going to do this, apple, pie. Face mask is further along, so I'm going to play face, leave it white, mask. So it sounds like this. Now, what other notes do I do? The only rule is that you need to make sure you're on the same color for the whole rhythm. So I'm going to go to... Hmm. Then I want to go to... And then when I pause it, I'll end it on the red again. So let's listen to it. And that's it. If you want to add drum beats, you're welcome to. If you don't like the drum beat sound, that's cool too. Remember, you can change the sound. Ooh, I like the strings. Okay, so there's lots of different things. Have fun with that. If you want to make a melody on top, that those notes can change colors and see what sounds. Okay. But right now, all you need to do is take your rhythm, make sure it's the same color for the whole entire rhythm, then go to another color and make sure your rhythm's the same color. And the next color for your bass line, make sure it's the same color. And then back to the teal color. Make sure when you play it, you'll start and then you'll pause it when it goes back to the red because you want to start and end on red. Bye.